little situation And I can't, no, I can't, no I can't seem to get away from it Ooh, I got to, got to, got to break free From all this bad art that's been following me And it's time to move on It's just a little too long Hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass and welcome to a quiet breakfast room at our hotel Principe di Piemonte in Via Reggio. Um, it's time to head back towards Lamborghini to return at the Aventador S Roadster uh, after our weekend with it, our Easter weekend with the car. Uh, yesterday was a very relaxed day, didn't do too much, explored Pisa by foot, uh, didn't do much with the car so I didn't really film it, so today I will film the return journey recollecting my Carrera T after, yes, I got it back in Monaco and then dumped it rather unceremoniously in Santa Cata. But anyway, for now, I'm going to enjoy my fruit bowl, have a coffee, wake up a bit, and I'll see you outside with the event store. I do not know what has happened to this car overnight. Yesterday we had bird poo gate, today we've got desert rain. I mean this is... Ugh. It's a bit of a test and an unknown as to whether I'm going to actually escape that hotel car park each morning, but I have managed to do it. I just, this dirt is really disgusting. I don't remember it raining last night, but clearly it did. Um, and it's a bit depressing to be driving an Aventador that is this filthy, but I don't think I've got time to wash it before I give it back to a Lamborghini, which I'm also a bit embarrassed about. I hate returning loaned cars in a filthy state and this really is a filthy state um, but anyway i can come out of sport mode now that i've got that cold start up um, drop the ride height and get ready for our sort of long cruise like two and a half hours and i figured out something by the way a new seating position for the event store you may have seen my video my previous video with this car where i was banging on about the fact i don't fit well i've push the seat really far forward and put the back really far down so I now sit like a Formula One driver laying down almost and even though my knee you might not be able to see is hitting uh, the windscreen wiper so often they jerk around it's a lot more comfortable for my back so that's that's a trick for any tall people wanting to drive Lambos but yes anyway time to crack on well to a fuel stop and then with our drive <laughs> to stretch when you get out of this car but we are back San Agata Lamborghini factories you can see a few Uros or Uros as the reception man so uh, pronounced so well uh, parked up in the parking lot and we now have to hand the keys back sadly and transfer the bags to the Carrera T which is in a parking lot somewhere somewhere around here Is this the car park across the road? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now open, but uh, uh, my colleague is here. Okay. Oh. oh, how nice to see you, Carl. Ah. <laughs> These seats, it's like, they're like armchairs. Oh, my back. My back is just... 
Oh, sinking into the cushion. <laughs> Simple pleasures. Let's face it, this car's nowhere near as fast, nowhere near as a, much as a showstopper. Probably doesn't sound uh, as good, but in terms of GT car long distance cruising, I think I'll pick this every day of the week. Uh, <laughs> good to be back in the Carrera T once again. I do feel like this is a bit of a message from Lambo. Basically, don't turn up to our factory in a Porsche. We will stick your car right in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this guy is hilariously, hilariously abandoned. But anyway, right, time to power up because uh, I think, as I mentioned, I'm headed today to take this car for a bit of TLC. G-Technic, one of the partners for Drive the World, my sort of detailing, car cleaning, car main, well, car visual maintenance partner. Um, they have arranged for this car to get a full detail at a and Detailing, one of their premier detailers in Italy. So, as you can imagine, in Australia, this car got pretty beaten up and it got covered in red dirt. Something that I think a lot of people know about Australia is if you drive through the desert, specifically the Nullarbor, your car just gets covered in red dirt and you can't get rid of it. So today, that is going to be a and Detailing's challenge. It does look pretty clean, this car. And I have to thank Cars, my shipping partner, uh, for sort of, you know, giving a bit of a tart up. But it needs it needs deep clean. There's a lot of sun cream in it. A lot of sun cream. So, yes, got about an hour and a half's drive right now. Oh, there's a load of Lambos behind that fence. There's a Urus in camo. It's a Performante Spider. Okay, I'm going to film these quickly and then we're going to crack on to, well, Venice, or just outside Venice. I don't really know. Future talk. No, I can't tell the future. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. All I know is you're on my mind. And everybody's dancing. Now, a little bit of traveler's advice for you here. If you come to a service station in Italy and you want a coffee, this is what happens. You have to queue up and you drink coffee at the bar or a table. It can be very confusing. So you order here, pay, and then you wait, you present your receipt, and your coffee gets made, and then usually everyone just chucks it down at the bar. Uh, which took me a while to figure out during Vlogari. Um, but it's, I guess, a, a quick-ish way to have coffee. It's, it's a little intense. It's, it's, a, it's a little intense. Now, this could be my car sort of getting its own back on me, having abandoned it for so long. But I've lost quite a lot of pressure in my rear right tyre. Now, when the car got delivered by cars, into Monaco, all of the pressures were quite low as you would expect. It had been sat in a shipping container for two and a half months or so. So I topped them all up and I had set the right rear at around 37 or 38, which was what's advised by Porsche in the car's little handbook. But it's dropped all the way down to 32. Actually, when I started the car up just then after getting a coffee, it was at 30 or 29 and it's increased back up to 32, which makes me think. I've probably got a slow puncture, right? There's probably a nail or something in it, but it's been going on for quite a long time, and I have looked around that tire quite a lot because of always having the dodgy meaning. But right now, it's sitting, as I say, at 32 PSI when the rear left is 39, so quite a disparity. Well, I made it. Uh, myself and the car have now arrived at A&D Detailing. So I, I think it must be a very slow puncture. But anyway, the car's gonna get checked out whilst it's here over the next couple of days because I'm headed in to Venice and obviously there you don't take cars and obviously the guys here are gonna be doing work on the car. So uh, some phone calls need to be made and get that tire checked out before I continue. But anyway, firstly, look at what is already here being worked on. We have a Lancia Delta Integrale in stunning yellow. I love that car in that colour. And then we've also got a white MX-5. My car's now parked up. Um, quite a lot needs to be done before the guys can start work on this, mainly removing the roof box. Uh, obviously takes up quite a lot of space and covers most of the roof panel. So I've got a bit of unpacking to do. And it's gonna be the first time I've removed that roof box since it went off to Australia. So I hope I remember how to do that. Um, also, I need to show you very quickly the sort of G-Technic goodie bag that I've been using basically in Europe. I didn't take it to Australia, but I've been using it in Europe to keep the cars clean when filming and stuff. And luckily, the guys have given me a discount code for you to get the sort of equivalent goodie bag or really any product. So, first, let me unpack the car, and then I'll show you that. No, I can't tell the future. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. All I know is you're on my mind. And everybody's dancing. Like there's no tomorrow I hope love's something they will find And try 
Well, I totally missed the moment we lifted the roof box off the top of my car, but it is now off and it looks so weirdly naked. I don't know why, but honestly, it looks like somebody who's had an afro all their lives suddenly had a clean cut shave on the top. I, it's a bit disconcerting, but anyway, there is the car. Let me show you now quickly the little G-Technic goodie bag that I was telling you about, which I've been carrying around with me. So, as you can see, you can open this up. It's just been sitting in the car and inside a ton of things that are useful for maintaining your vehicle. Um, all these chamois, which I realise, well, this is a relatively clean surface, so don't judge me too much. Um, but yeah, quick detailing, wash, liquid crystal, um, tyre and trim wash as well. So this has been really useful for when I'm filming, when I need to get around. So I'll put below um, uh, and on screen the code that you can use if you want to get yourself a little goodie bag like this or really any G-Technic products, because that's what's going to be used on making my car look brand new again, or at least like it did before it left for Australia. So I'm going to leave the car here now, head into Venice, and I'll be collecting it in about 24 hours time when it will uh, hopefully look, uh, yeah, as good as new. Okay, grazie. See you Wednesday. Okay, Venice, please. Yeah. <laughs> a lover of mine, let me tell you, I got something on my mind. And it's burning, it's burning, it's burning. Now, I realise some of you might be thinking, Sam, why on earth have you gone to Venice? It's the least car place in the world. And, and you're sort of right, but firstly, G-Technic hooked me up with the guys at a and Detailing. Uh, but secondly, I've only really ever been here properly once for my mum's... I don't know what birthday it was, but it was a long time ago. It must have been at least 15 years ago that I was here. Vicky has never been here, and it's just one of those things that you kind of have to do, I think, on this big old trip of ours. It's an amazing place and an awesome place to explore. So whilst um, AMD work on the car, I thought rather than just sitting around staying at them, uh, not being very helpful myself, I thought I might as well come and explore Venice itself and then pick up the car uh, as they're finishing up. I have made it then back to A and D, and as you can see, the car has been placed under cover. So I'm about to have a grand reveal of the car with the Halo product now on the vinyl sort of protection that G Technic offer, uh, but also to see it looking spick and span uh, once again. You may notice that the roof box is back on. Well, I've noticed that the roof box is back on, which I think is right because, as I said before, it just looked weird with the roof box on. Roof box, yeah. I, I need more coffee. Roof box off. Uh, also. The Delta Integrati Evolution that was here, the yellow one, when I came two days ago, has been replaced by a red one. <laughs> Obviously not an Evo, but still absolutely banging. Uh, so yes, I think let's stop chatting and take the covers off and find out what's been done to this car. Whew. Okay, everyone meet Andrea from a and Detailing, the absolute hero who has been working on my car, and I have to say he has done the most amazing job, especially, I mean, we're going to get onto the interior in a second, but this, this interior was so covered in sun cream and popcorn and everything, and it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. So, I want him to talk me through exactly what he's done, because obviously I left the car here in his very capable hands as I went into Venice. Um, so now, in Italian, he's going to talk me through exactly <laughs> what he has worked on uh, using the G Technic products, and I will try my best to translate uh, in some post production. So, Andrea, please explain. Okay. Allora, abbiamo cominciato con il prelavaggio foam. Well, welcome to the first STG voiceover. Um, you're going to have to forgive me for this and also forgive me for talking over Andrea. I had planned to uh, do subtitles for everything that Andrea was saying. However, I have simply run out of time and the rate at which I'm having to edit videos means that I just, just couldn't take the time out to do subtitles for this video. If you don't know, subtitles are an extremely lengthy thing to do for any video. So, instead, I've, I've brought in the services of my mum, who actually speaks fluent Italian, to do a hyper quick translation, which I'm now going to voice over for this piece of camera that Andrea did very kindly for me. So apologies if I haven't uh, translated anything correctly, if I've missed any details. Any Italian speakers uh, m may think that I'm missing out a lot of what Andrea is saying, but uh, let me let me sort of crack on and let you know exactly what he is discussing right now. So uh, I'm going to speak as if I were him. Uh, we began with a snow foam 
free wash, which helps to remove all the dirt and contaminants in a way that does not scratch the wrap or other parts of the car. It removes the insect stains and the general surface dirt from the car. And after the snow foam, we wash the car with the G Technic W5 Citrus All Purpose Cleaner. This helps to focus on the details, all the nooks and crannies where the dirt is more ingrained, before moving on to the rims using a toothbrush and more W5 to clean. After that, it was time to shampoo the car to clean all the surfaces of the car, rims, windows, external details, and then I could move on to the decontamination of the car using the W6 iron remover. Finally, we looked to protect the car. To do this, we used the halo, which cleans the car to a high-level shine, but also protects the car, or in this case, the vinyl wrap. The car was degreased and was given two layers of halo, which is basically a thin film coating that protects the condition of the wrap for two years. It may change the appearance of the wrap very slightly, but the effect of its application is very good and it makes it easier to clean with a better and more beautiful result. We applied a G1 clear vision to the windows. G1 is a protection for the glass and repels specks and scratches for at least a year, if not treated with chemicals. And then to finish the exterior, EXO is a hydrophobic coating for the rims and all the plastic details on the car. And now, as you can see, the car is perfect. Return to you as new, one voyage and many, many protected kilometers. Kilometri, kilometri, protetta. Grazie. Grazie a te. Well, not only has Andrea done an incredible job on this car using all of those products he's just talked about, but also you may remember I had an issue with my tyre, or a su suspected issue with my tyre. Well, he discovered, amazingly, that it was, in fact, a nail in my rear right tyre. So that has been plugged, and later today, as I drive the car towards Modena, it's going to get replaced, because obviously you can't do too many kilometres on a plugged tyre. So, absolute hero, absolute legend for looking after this car, for transforming it, for making it look beautiful. It is now protected for the European leg. That was the most important thing about today. Of course, I wanted to get it sort of all looking spick and span, but that halo protection will now look after it as I move around Europe and put the kilometres in the muck and the grime back on it like I did in Australia. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it interesting learning about uh, how Andrea's worked on this car, but also just seeing it all tarted up and my short trip to Venice. So give it a thumbs up if you have. And remember that if you want to get your own G-Technic products, there is that discount code. I'll put it in the link below on screen again right now and I'll post it across my social media pages. But make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come. I got myself into a little situation And I can't, no I can't, no I can't seem to get away from it